Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Syed Islam. I'm a staff scientist. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the pros and cons of working in a national laboratory. Although it is my personal view, it's not an official um, description. So th there are many opportunities working in a national laboratory. For example, uh, it is an independent job that that uh, can be enjoyed and uh, we can work in a many different directions uh, based on our preference and it is a flexible job that sometimes we can work from home and sometimes we can work in the even weekend and sometimes we can take off during the time too so it's pretty flexible as long as we do the science science that is made uh, that, that meets the demand of the sponsors it is a scholarly or creative work means we have to continuously uh, think and totally complete play uh, creative work and we can develop our own team or group to uh, pursue the research and the uh, the product of our work is publications uh, conference presentations patents so that's that uh, many of us enjoy and we also solve a bigger problem means uh, like global problem such as global climate global climate or climate change uh, other bigger problem for example clean energy uh, so we solve uh, global and national problems and we work typically in a very large uh, team not alone with multiple scientists postdoctoral researchers technical support staff and students we work with the scientists who are best among in the field so that is one of the advantages working with big scientists to develop ourselves and this is a breeze working in a national lab that between the academia and industry industry is very much focused on very applied uh, real work whereas academia works mostly fundamental work but national lab typically is a bridge between what we do both basic and applied research but uh, we are bridge between academia and national lab and our compensation is pretty uh, better uh, what I learned from academia or industry somewhat moderate but uh, well compensation and work-life balance is also moderate as long as we meet the need of the sponsor that is good enough to make a life so there is pretty much moderate work-life balance it also depends on how much we really uh, achieve in our career but just to have a job uh, we can maintain work-life balance and also better job security as long as we can bring our own funding uh, deliver the work publish paper that it has a better job security but there are some downside uh, working in a national lab for example we need to continuously pursue funding there is not any direct funding comes from somewhere automatically like a salary we have to con continuously pursue uh, funding opportunities and writing proposals uh, to, to secure the funding which requires high uh, energy and effort and the complex funding mechanism there is no straightforward way just to we got an idea write a proposal get the funding that's not that straightforward there are many ways we can get funding from different sponsors so we need to understand that funding mechanism and need to work also on multiple projects with different directions just to maintain our job or maintain the uh, funding for the team so working in multiple directions simultaneously on multiple projects sometimes a challenging activities and then the demand working in national life is high in terms of productivity both quality of the work and quantity of the work like high impact publications and number of publications and also multitasking it requires running experiment writing report writing manuscript writing proposals generating ideas project management mentoring student postdocs or junior staff that requires multiple tasking and also a dynamic uh, need to adapt in a dynamic uh, environment because of the 
many things changes the funding situation specifically changes so uh, live in a dynamic situation where uh, the funding where you, when you have a funding then we need to deliver at the same time uh, looking for future funding uh, down the road so this is a dynamic situation that we need to adapt and it is, there are since it's a government national library is typically uh, owned by government uh, that means there are some complex bureaucracy that we need to understand and abide by and lastly we do not have any tenure positions in the national lab but overall working in the national lab is highly satisfying um, um, both uh, job satisfaction and recognition and compensation as long as uh, we meet the sponsor's goal and um, thank you for for uh, listening to the talk